Hey guys, we're always on VDXReviews.com. You're watching our unboxing of the Polaroid iZone. This is actually a film cartridge that I managed to snag at an auction just the other day. Now this is extremely rare, and that's because Polar, uh, Polaroid has pulled the iZone lineup of cameras from the market a long, long time ago. And if I, my memory still serves me correct, uh, it was probably around five, maybe even eight years back, because this came out in around 2002, 2003. So it's around over 10 years old. So this is 10-year-old film um, that's already been discontinued. And as a result, the iZone cameras uh, that's been produced uh, have been, again, discontinued. You can find these a lot of, a lot of uh, the actual cameras at places like, um, you know, at auctions, and you can even find it, like, on pawn shops or maybe uh, at... Uh, very very heavily reduced stores and online as well because they don't have any cartridges or any photo uh, taking abilities left because the cameras don't have the film and the film has been pretty much dried up and no one can get any film anymore but I managed again to get one of these you can still probably find the occasional one or two on ebay.com if you aren't afraid to dish out a little bit extra um, for example these 12 photos well I purchased this for around tw over $20 so that's just something to take note of but um, again this has been long discontinued over 10 years old and I still have one of these iZone cameras I think it's a very cool camera concept I just want more film so there you go more film he says it's it expired in uh, February of um, 2002, made in Mexico. So this is a very old film. Um, a little bit more of a history background on iZones. They are basically uh, popular in the era where people use these instant cameras, where you take a picture, you pull on the string, and the image immediately comes out, and it becomes you know immediately uh, kind of washed. So you can. Uh, the camera basically just takes the shots and then you don't have to store the, the images on a computer because of course those weren't digital back then and you didn't have to go to any store to get your pictures washed. Um, they were immediate so the actual film was a little bit more expensive and they were a little bit smaller but as a result they were fast, they were cheap and they were really fun to play around with um, and, and also in my opinion I'm, I'm kind of confused why no one's making any of these instant film cameras anymore in this market in this day, day and age because I can still see a lot of demand for these going around. I mean digital cameras are cool. I love to to have stuff um, in my computer so I can take home on a vacation. But the thing is, I would also love to, you know, take a shot maybe at Disney World and then immediately take the image out and show it to my friends and family as a printed out, almost like a printed out little image to my friends. And that would be just very cool, I think, for a scrapbook or something. So I, on the plane back, I don't have to view a small LCD screen. I can actually go through my photo album and see my pictures. I like something tangible, but that's just my opinion. So manufacturers, why are you doing this? Anyways, let's take a look at this packaging. So actually, back when these were produced, they were actually released for a lot less money than, of course, $20. They came in uh, compartments, and you can either get these in six photos, or this is a 12-photo pack. This also comes with a free little photo album keychain, which we're going to show you. You could pick these up at Red Aid, uh, any um, drugstore back then. It's just this iZone Instant Pocket Sticker Film. And these are actually sticky on the back, so you can actually stick them on anything. So it's kind of very, very cool, actually. Um, there's the iZone, and there's the little keychain with the little eye, the eye and the person. It's kind of cool. And there's an image of an example. Let's see uh, what images looks like for 10 years ago. Kind of cheesy, but uh, there you go. You get an idea. And on the sides of the camera, of the packaging, you can see that this is a film storage. It's best when stored within 75 degrees Fahrenheit and less, uh, no, no less than 55 degrees Fahrenheit. You have this, um... Yeah, 20, 20 degrees Fahrenheit range. 12 photos, it's 1.4 inch by 1 inch. Again, very small, and it also includes that one photo keychain to include all of your images and put it in there. You can also show you how to rip off the sticker in order to first apply the film and um, make instant sticker photos. You put it in there in the camera like so, and step number two, you apply it. Step number three, you pull it out, and your picture is done. There was some contact information to call people from customer surface. And um, that's pretty much everything in the packaging, I think. I showed you the expiration date and the retail location stuff. Again, this was in 2000. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's check it out. I'm not sure if this actually film is, is still very, is still usable. I, I hope it is. It's been stored properly, so it should be. Um, if you store film in the correct temperature range, and if you use, if it's in a more of a lower range, like for example in 55 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe in a, a cool uh, refrigerator or something, it actually stores the film and makes it uh, preserve it preserves it for longer than just the date. So hopefully it still works really nicely, and I would be I'm really looking forward to using this again. 
I love the Aizen uh, cameras. A cool story is that the other day I was uh, looking through things at a thrift thrift shop, and uh, I was looking at an Aizen camera because the cameras are actually worthless without the film, and it was selling for a dollar or something like crazy like that. And this guy just came up and said, "Well, you know, the film isn't here anymore because it's it's kind of sad because no one still has a film, and as a result, they're kind of worthless." And I was like, "Yeah, it's quite sad, but." Just an interesting thing, because they, they are very popular, uh, but they're not produced anymore. So there's actually some content printed in the back of the paper. I don't know why they would do that, because I can't even read this. Um, am I supposed to rip this for something? Maybe I'll rip it. I don't really want to completely rip it open. But it just tells you to avoid contact with a caustic plate paste and avoid contact with the eyes, avoid from children, and uh, if, if it gets an eye over the mouth, wash with plenty of water with the film, I guess. And the Polaroid dealer to uh, do not, does not apply to outdated films, so this is no longer, you know, in the warranty sector. And uh, there you go, limitations and just blah 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 blah, just basically your warranty and stuff. Um, so there you go, what's in the box is just your film with the 12 photos and it's nice little packaging. What's this Polaroid? And then use before again, uh, <laughs> use before, yeah, a long time ago, over 11 years ago now, so 13 years ago actually, so, yeah, it's kind of, kind of 11 years ago, kind of very sad, um, but time is, time runs fast, this just makes me realize I'm kind of old. Anyway, so let's take a look at this photo keychain that comes included, it says izone.polaride.com. And it's a uh, soft, soft touch material, very grippy, and it's a very cool little keychain. It reminds me of uh, one of those very uh, early keychain things for, for kids that you can find in drugstores, like for little games and little pouches from a long time ago. So it looks like it's pretty cool. You can hang it around. iZone actually was, was pretty popular with teenagers and kids back then because it was fast. It's actually popular with a lot of people. Um, they should have continued this. If I was at Polaroid, I would have told them to continue this product because it was a huge success. So there you go. Again, the only downside is the images are very, very tiny because the eye zones don't pr are very slim cameras. So the images, again, are going to be like wallet sized, like so. But still, they're fun and cheap back then. So there you go. It's like a basic little photo album with the uh, photo pages in there. You can actually get, if these are double sided, which they are, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So you actually got twelve images to put in here on this little photo album that closes like so. So you actually get the entire 12 image roll and a 12 image photo album to store all of your photos, which is kind of cool. But these are actually actually stickers as well, so they can stick to things without having to be placed in these little sockets. So anyways, it's been a brief unboxing. I'm gonna put these in camera, I'm gonna take a few pictures, and then I am going to uh, upload those photos onto osmvtxreviews.com for you guys to see what 11-year-old uh, film looks like and if it still looks pretty fun and if it's a really good experience I might even post a second video. So thanks for watching here at osmvtxreviews.com. It's been an unboxing of this Polaroid iZone 12 photo pack uh, sticker film. Thanks for watching.